Today I decided I'm gonna make a cheesecake, a chocolate cheesecake, and I thought why not make a video out of it. I've done one um, uh, recipe on this channel already, which was the chocolate brownies, and they turned out awesome. So I thought why not make another one. Um, that's my own recipe, I haven't googled it or anything. So I'm quite proud of it actually, so if you do try and make it, please let me, uh, let me know how it turned out. We are going to need some chocolate, 200 grams of chocolate, 3 eggs, um, around 300 grams of simple digestive biscuits, 80 grams of butter, sugar, cream cheese and 600 grams of cottage cheese. First things first, we're gonna melt the chocolate. I like to do it in a more natural way, not in the microwave, but heat some water up in a pan and rest the bowl on top and just let it melt. Next thing you wanna do is crumble up your biscuits as best as you can. Done. You want to slightly melt your butter in the microwave, so let's say half a minute. Perfect. And then just combine the butter with the biscuits. That should be the end product. Oh, hi! <laughs> Time to whisk your eggs. And add a bit of sugar. That'll do. And whisk some more. Now, time to put your melted chocolate in. And whisk some more. Now that we're done with the whisking, all we have left is to put the cream cheese and the cottage cheese. Let's do the cream cheese first. And last but not least, the cottage cheese. And we need to put it through this thing, whatever it's called. I'm sorry, I don't know what it's called. And we're done with that, just mix it in nicely and we're almost done. So, you can preset the oven to 190 Celsius. All done. Next thing, we need to prepare our baking tray. So now we have our biscuit mix that we've done earlier and we just need to lay it all on the bottom and on the sides of the baking tin. That's how it should look like. All covered with our biscuit mix. And now we're ready to put the cheesecake mixture in. Spread it out nicely. And we're done. It's ready to go in the oven.
for one hour. And now I have to clean all of this up. So I'll see you in a bit. Let's have a look. Here we go. Turned out just as it was supposed to. Awesome. So now just leave it in the turned off oven until it cools completely. Let it cool completely. You can actually even put it in the fridge when it's no longer hot. And only then you can eat it. Alright? Cake, cheesecake turned out perfect, guys. Couldn't be more happy with it. Let's see how it is inside now. Here we go. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you, if you did make the cheesecake that you really enjoyed it, if you did, let me know please in the comments. And I'll see you next time. Bye!